So today we're going to be working on a uh, good old fashioned pause menu. So say you're in the middle of a game, you need to uh, work, you're just shooting, get to a spot, you need to pause the game, you press P and it'll pause the game for you. And then you can click and resume your game. So what we're going to do is add a plane, just so we have something to look at. Add a couple of objects, just here, just doing this thing, something to look at. And then we will go num numpad uh, 5 and 3 to go into a side view. We're going to add a camera. Go into the camera and then rotate Z 90 degrees. Just move it around until it's lined up. Then what we can do is go in and add, or we need to go into game logic. Go in here. Add a mouse. Let's add, a, yeah, a mouse. Put it on movement. Go over here. Add two more mouse uh, sensors or actuators. Connect those actuators up. Turn them on to look. So actually, we might be able to get away with one. Let's see. Maybe. There we go just so we can look around. We don't necessarily need to move right now, just a demonstration. So now that we have a camera that we can look around with, what we can do is make a little, just so we have something to uh, reference, we're going to click on this cube, add a always and a edit object, connect those together, uh, use the eyedropper tool on the object and select the uh, other little cube we just spawned. Take this cube and put it on rigid body. I like to put collisions on there. Then what we can do is move this to the second layer. So put the main cube on go so it's not colliding with the object anymore. And then we'll also put the uh, spawn tick to about five. Now we have something to look at and to pause. So what we can do is add a scene. So we're actually going to rename this main and then hit this little plus icon and we're going to say copy settings. We're going to go into uh, press 7 on the numpad to go on straight down view. Get the camera. Uh, press 0 to go into the camera. G and then Z twice and then just bring it up. Make the camera orthographic and then put the scale to about 30. Then what we can do is add a plane, scale on the y-axis and the x-axis, move it up, duplicate that plane, move it down. Then I'd like to actually scale this one up, cursor to selected, and then we can add a text. Just move that text to where you need it. And then type in pause. So we have paused, and then we can press Shift D, duplicate it, and then edit this one to resume, like so. Move it around till it lines up on your plane, like so. In fact, I can even scroll, scale this guy up. So we got pause and resume. On the resume button, we're going to add two mouse sensors. One is going to be mouse over and the other one is going to be left button and we're going to put that on tap. Come over here and add two scenes. Connect those both together. Both of them to the same AND sensor and then just connect those to your actuators. We're going to set one to remove scene and we're rename this to pause. And then we can say remove the pause scene and then resume our main scene. So now we should be pretty much done with this, except what we want to do is click on the camera, add a always, and then add a mouse, connect those together. So that way, when we go into the scene, our mouse cursor is available. We can go back to our main scene now and click on the camera, 
press this little plus icon that'll go into your state click on one over and then also press shift and click on the bottom one so we have two states selected and then add a keyboard use P for pause <clears throat> or whatever key you want then we can add a scene we will add two scenes connect this together like so and then we're going to do one which is suspend main and then overlay add overlay scene pause so if we press P we have we'll be able to move around we can see all of our stuff happening over here we can press P and this little pause icon will happen and you can see everything in the background has stopped moving the entire scene is paused if we hover over resume and then click it we're back in it now there's an obvious problem the mouse cursor is still in the middle of the screen so to fix that what we can do is on the camera we can add a always in the main scene always mouse turn that visible icon to where it's gray so it's off so visibility is uh, not selected and then when we press P we're in the game we press P again it'll pause the game we hit resume our mouse cursor is is visible resume and it's not visible anymore in the main scene well this should have been a shorter tutorial I hope it was helpful thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next